Hello everybody, this is the BLB Cuba, and welcome back to another video. So anyway, today in this video, I am going to be unboxing the GAN 356i V2. This is an upgrade from the GAN 356i V1, so let's start reviewing it, and let's unbox it. Okay, so the things I got are the GAN 356i V2 box, and I also got this um, some of this lubricant from the cubicle. This didn't come with it, I got this separately, but... Let's look at some of the differences. So as you can see, this is definitely the GAN 356 IV2. Um, here is the GAN 356 IV2. So it says GAN 356 I2. So anyway, I'm just going to unbox this thing and see how it is. So it's supposed to be an upgrade almost from the original one. So I'll be back once I have it plastic. Okay, so anyway, let's open this box right up and see what's in here. So... Let's kind of just shake that. Alright, so now that I have it open, let's just move that to the side. So let's start looking around in here. So first thing, obviously, is the charger here. Let's just charge the cube up, I'm assuming. Let's just put that over here. I did have the original GAN 356i2 that came out, like, late last year. Here's, like, a GAN business card, I'm guessing. And here is the CFOP instructions that comes in every single GAN packaging. So let's just keep looking in here. It's quite a bit of stuff in here. I'm assuming this is operating instructions. Um, I don't think there's anything different with the setup for this one. And here is some of the charging stuff. It's just I'm gonna have to kind of destroy the packaging to get in. I guess that's okay though. So looks like you have a nice GAN bag that came, same bag that came with the original GAN 356i. And you also get this charging cable that charges this and just some different springs I guess to customize it more so I'm guessing these are different elasticities so just put those to a side as well actually I guess I'll just put that there so anyway I think what I'm going to do now is open the cube up so here's the GAN 356i V2 so just open this up Okay, so here's the cube, so let's just do some turns in it. So these are some first turns on the puzzle I've done. So definitely feels similar to the original, but it's almost smoother. I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to look at the mechanism here and see if it's the same. I'm assuming it is because what I put is it's just a... And also my original one I got was... Um, Stickered, it's just one stickered. I kind of like the stickered one better. The stickered one better. Okay, so that was some turns and solved. So let's just look at the mechanism, I guess. So let's pop a piece out here. So it looks very similar to the original. Actually, I think it is the. It's a slightly different me mechanism, I think. As you can see, that ball is like a more white cutter. And so. I don't know, so I'm gonna cut this clip and I will show you. I'm gonna go get an original GAN 356i and compare it. So anyway, I have the GAN 356i V1 and here's the V2 that I just got. So let's compare the mechanism. So first, let's do corner pieces. So mechanism really looks pretty much the exact same. I can't really tell any differences. Same honeycomb design. Let's do edge pieces. The edges are definitely the exact same too. So Anyway, that's that, so let's just move this to a side here. Pop these back in, and let's just look at some other stuff about the puzzle. Ooh, and I just realized this. Did you see that? This actually is something that lights up in here. So let me actually read these though instructions here. I'm pretty sure it works. So that's why that's, so that's a difference I just saw, because that just lit up, so I'm pretty sure that's the charging. So... So in Chinese, the um, let me just look at this. So I will be back in about when I once I read these instructions. So it seems to work the exact same as the Ganthi, which eyes aside from a few sensor upgrades. So also let me check out another part. Oops. Let me just check out. 
So honestly, the the two, it looks like it works pretty much the exact same with the um, spring mechanism too. So that works the exact same. So okay, I'll just do that in a minute. There, just pop this back on. Man, these did not pop back on. Okay, so anyway, it's definitely uh, there's definitely a lot of oil coming out of it too. So. What I'm going to do, I think, is charge it up. Oh, as you as you can see, there's some lights that turn on inside of the once you start turning it a little bit. So what I think I'm going to do is charge it up, and I will be back and see if there's any differences with inside the app. So it's a very good turning cube. I think I need to break it in a little bit more, but so this is basically the GAN 356i. It looks like it has a dark cutter scheme more of not full bright. So we're going to have to get used to that a little bit more. So. Let's me charge it up and show you some performance inside the app. Okay, so anyway, I got the cube all charged up. So what I'm going to do now is just do some stuff in the app. So sorry, I do not have a screen recorder. I do not know how to re screen record on a mo mobile device. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do some solves here, I guess. So let's just, I guess I could start with an online battle here. Just do a 1v1 battle. So... Let's see, finish calibrating start now. Okay, so let's see if this is any different or has better sensors. Is what they say, U2, F, or L. So this is supposed to be an upgrade um, from the GAN 356 IV one. So let's see, I'm a ditto. I haven't done an online battle in a long time. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I don't know if that's gonna win, but I think I won. 15.71. Alright, so I won that one. So that venue looks like it has better sensors. Like the GAN 356 IV one had some delay to it. So let's see. I guess let's do this now. F2 B inverted. B U2 B inverted. So I think I'll just do a few solves here and I'm gonna show you guys some of the features. Um, and why you might want to consider getting one of these. So, B two U B two L two U D inverted or two L two. So, let's inspect here. Okay, this is a bad time. 19.93. They got 11.90. So I lost that one, so... I guess let's just do another one. So, it seems like it's generally just a better cube. Because what would happen with the old GAN, the 56 i is there'd be a lot of problems with... For example, like... What can I think of? If you were to be turning a little too fast, and it would uncalibrate and not be matched up quite right so it's definitely a good upgrade try to win this this time I don't know if they just got lucky but they they average 11 seconds there quite a bit better than I am yeah 13 so I lost that one so I guess what I'll do now is um, I'll go to AI solve so let's say like you let's say for example you don't know how to solve the cube but you want to get it solved again you can just use the N356i confirm finish start now and it'll basically just show you how to solve your cube so if you're set to follow this so D F2 or 2 D inverted L D inverted B inverted L2 D F O inverted L2 F2 D2 L2 D2 L D two B two or B two L two D two F two So see got complete so confirm So I think what might have actually happened is this nope it's not in category so it's definitely works really great. Let's try another thing. So this is personal training. Um you can just do an algorithm scramble, for example, like 
scramble um, you to be inverted you be inverted O2 D2 F inverted D2 B inverted O U B2 D2 F2 D inverted F2 O2 D inverted F2 D B2 D so now what you can do is just just practice you can just do this um, definitely need to work a lot on F2L when I get like start getting like sub 10 F2L times so that wasn't the best time but anyway that's just one of the features you can do with this and you can get you can like see your average and then there's algorithm there's algorithm timing this is one of my practice feature um, favorite features of this app so that's just doing POL I guess it's actually what algorithm is this this is a like let me find out what I can do really quick what was it JPM Um, I guess I could just do a T pum too. So, for example, like if you want to do a T pum, it'll show you him. So, oh, that's what I need to do. So, um, let's go back to T pum here. So I, I had it wrong side up. So anyway, what you could do is you could just do this. Get faster at your T pumps. So these. So anyway, that's one of my favorite features of the training. So anyway, it's nice to see that. So just push T pump up. See if I'm still calibrated here. Yep. So now what I could do is there's the on there's the AI teaching. So this just has like kind of an adventure. You start off at like level one here, and then you just get to the point where you can solve the cube, and it's a nice way to learn. So, and the reason I have all this stuff here already is because I've I've ha used to have the Ganthi V six I V one, or I still do it's right there. But anyway, it has powerful statistics here to show if you're improving or not, what you can do. So, anyway. I think that's it for this review of the GAN 356i. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe. Um, this is the BLB Cuber. Subscribe for more cubing content and almost daily cubing content. I do a lot of reviews and speed solving. So, this is still a pretty small channel, so I'm trying to grow it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.